So let's jump in. Um, challenge number one, uh, capturing the end-to-end -end software delivery process. Um, again, just to sort of lay the foundation here, guys, we, I think, really and strongly believe our, our really opinionated view here is you don't really have a security posture or a complete security posture picture if you're not looking from source code management all the way through to deployment. And so we want to make sure that we're doing that. And so some of the unique challenges that are there, too many moving parts, right? So people will say to us, there's, you know, the source code management, there's the static code analysis, there's the vulnerability scanning, there's the generation of the artifact, there's the storage of the artifact, there's the changes that are going to get made as part of the deployment. How do I keep track of all this stuff? And then, again, I think the 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 underlying assumption for this is you must cover all of the parts of this process in order to be effective, right? So that makes up sort of the first challenge we're going to talk about and the sort of sub bullets underneath that. Now, if we think about this in terms of must cover all parts of the process, this is what the process looks like. And I think we're being hyper conservative in terms of the moving parts here, <laughs> mainly because we're constricted by the size of the slide. Um, <laughs> right. The bottom line is, is that there's a lot that's going on here, guys, right? And if we really think about this from a security perspective, any part of this process could be looked at as a potential compromise point or an attack vector, right? Um, whether it be the way you manage your source code and the way your developers have set up the, the repos, having visibility into that is critical. And I'll tell you this, you know, we're not, this is not a boogeyman story. We're not thinking that somehow a developer is going to be a bad actor here. The majority of these cases, it's human error. Right. It's a mistake. There's a lot going on. Right. And so but having the ability to get visibility into that and then we move through to the build process. Right. You know, um, is my Jenkins server secure? Are the plugins that I'm using secure? Um, are is the artifact that I'm producing? Do, have I captured a SHA or have I captured captured a digital signature so that I have something to compare it to prior to deployment to make sure no one is noodled with that artifact? Um, and then, you know, when I start thinking about deployment, right, and I start thinking about the changes. So the the infrastructure is going to be there, but most of that infrastructure is immutable. And so if I look at things like Terraform or Helm charts or Kubernetes manifests, right, um, is the environment that this thing's going to be deployed into uh, and the changes that are going to be associated with that deployment, are those secure? Am I forgetting something? Am I exposing something that could potentially lead to an attack? Um, these are all things that, again, when you think about this end to end, you need to have your eyes on all of these things, right? And it's really, really hard to do in the silos that they're born, right? So um, when you start to string these things together, you really need to have something that is, is constantly, and there's automation there that's looking at these things. Uh, to make sure that nothing's going wrong and then ultimately when we get down to the sort of visibility piece we'll talk about how to how to how to, how to bring all that together in terms of uh you know a dashboard hey bob one comment and then, is, of course it, david it, yes please please it, it, yeah. it, it wasn't it wasn't i think i'm it's remarking on something that changed here because it wasn't very long ago that we assumed that as long as we kept things secure on the right side of that picture kind of in the production environment um we were fine Right. And I think yes. then we moved them all that said, all right, well, let's just make sure that we don't put bad code in the front end. If the front end is fine and the back and production is fine, we're everything in between. We don't need to worry about. And I think the realization around application security that we're dealing with here is everything in between really does matter and is a very rich attack surface uh, for yes. someone who wants to kind of get the applications. And I think that's that's why this end to end view becomes so critical. Absolutely. And, and I think I think, you know, um, when we think about that, I think, David, you're spot on. And I think, you know, when we think about the dynamic landscape of vulnerabilities, right, we think about um, the fact that, you know, once we've sort of built an artifact and it goes to an artifact repository, um, that becomes by itself an attack surface, right? So right. the ability to sort of keep an eye on that and validate the efficacy of those things. Um, there is enough, you know, when we think about going beyond 
what's at source, there's a dynamic enough landscape here where things can change and change very, very quickly, right? And I think this is another part of this, right? These are all moving parts. So, you know, it doesn't matter, um, you know, and, and, and if you think about it, just because something is okay here, right? There are pieces of that process that are going to be dynamic all the way through up to and including and even post deployment, right? Um, they, these things are going to be dynamic. And I think for us, you know, looking at things like source code control as new source code repositories are springing up all the time, right? They're being set up, they're being configured. Are they configured correctly? Um, you know, my build process, anyone that uses Jenkins understands it can be a very, very dynamic environment because as you're adding new tools to your stack, you're adding new Jira plugins, or I'm sorry, new Jenkins plugins, um, you know, the the version of Jenkins is constantly changing. So these are things. And then ultimately, like I said, that build, uh, you know, sort of the tail end of that build process, we have to make sure as, as the artifact comes out of here and moves over to here, we've got something to trace it. That goes back to, you know, that whole solar winds attack and the idea that somebody could get in there in an artifact, noodle with the artifact, because they know most of the security was happening back here. So they right, just simply right, right. changed where they were going to attack it, right? So, um, and again, I think this is another challenge because it's hard, right? This is this whole thing is also moving, right? So if you think about it, there's multiple layers here that are all spinning, uh, and they're not spinning in the same direction all the time, right? So we have to make sure that we're capturing information, we're analyzing that information, and then ultimately setting ourselves up for um, managing the risk that's associated with anything that we happen to find.